you are looking at the scene on the Reggie O'Brien Gymnasium on the campus of Wilby High School. It is the George Torado Court. Welcome once again to another DET Sports Media production of Naugatuck Valley League Varsity Boys Basketball. Good afternoon and good evening. This is Mitch Beck along with Deb Thoreau. And we have got a good game for you this evening. We have the Wilby Wildcats and Nanawag. And they are going to t uh, it's Nanawag Chiefs, by the way. And uh, we should have a good one. This is the number four, number 104, Nanawag, against the number 102 Wilby Wildcats. So it should be a very even contest. And we will have the starting and lineups for you. For the visiting Nanawag uh, Chiefs, they will start number 10, Dylan Chung, number 11, Ben Roden, number 15, Aiden Colby, number 21, Ben Faraci, and number 24, Charles Rickenbach, Riddenbach. For the home Wilby Wildcats, it will be number zero, James, uh, Aaron James, number 11, Juni Jarina, number 15, Jeremiah Coleman, number 21, Gio Cruz, and number 24, Elijah Stewart. We will now have the national anthem and then the starting lineups, and we'll be good to go. Stick around. And we're back to getting the starting lineups. Running a little bit uh, behind here this evening. You are watching live on Waterbury Cable 16 and also live on YouTube. So we're glad to have you along for the evening. As we said, this should be a very even contest. And we've got the Wildcats about to be introduced. And we will have the national anthem now. We've missed a moment of silence there, but this will be the national anthem. We'll come back and we'll have the tip off for you right here. Who? 
one of the best things about coming here to Wilby High School is that production and that voice that sings the national anthem here. It's beautiful. Great song, great singer, and a great performance. So we will have the two teams gather around their respective benches, get last-minute instruction, and then we will have the tip-off right here uh, in the Reggie O'Brien Gymnasium, the George Toronto Court on the campus of Wilby High School. Thursday night here in Waterbury. So glad to have you along for the ride. Both of these teams lost their last game. They also by margin of four points each. So should be an exciting contest. Two teams looking to get on the right side. And it will be Riddenbach 24 for Nanawag. They're in the blue and white with the red trim. And Wilby is in the home white with green. And the Wildcats get underway with their offense. Jarena now, he kicks it outside. They work the ball down low and back out high again all the way across. There's a three, nothing but the bottom of the net. Gio Cruz gets it started. If Cruz gets hot, this could get to be a one-sided game in a hurry. Nanawag moving, moving in and down low. Nice job, there's gonna be a foul on Cruz. And Riddenbach, he looks to be about 6'3 or 6'4. He goes to the free throw line. Gio Cruz picks up his first foul. Riddenbach will shoot two. Misses the first. We've talked about it in previous broadcasts. Watch the legs when you're watching a free throw. A really successful free throw comes from the feet. And if the legs are stiff, it tends to be more of a choppy kind of shot like that one. So he misses both. Riddenbach does. And back comes Wilby. Cruz with it now. Gets it on top to Aaron. Aaron James, that is. Cruz looks for room, finds it. And a rebound by Jarena. Kicks it back out. Good idea, passing down low. Back up top to the side. Jarena tries to go to the hoop, and it goes in and out, and Riddenbach gets the rebound. Chiefs bring it up. Aiden Colby makes his way through the middle. He gets stripped. And coming back the other way is Wilby. Fast, quick pass down low, up and in. And that's Jeremiah Coleman. And a quick timeout as Wilby jumps out to a 5-0 lead. When you're watching those free throws, it's usually the guys that are really, really good. You're going to see a smooth motion that really starts from the feet and works through the body on the way up through the kinetic chain. And it's a much more smooth process. When you see guys chop and they stop or, they, or they're not smooth, that's when you get those kind of shots like Riddenbach where it just hits the rim or it hits the, the side of the rim and goes off. It just, it's just not smooth. It's almost a lost art shooting free throws. When I played, it, it was essential. You would practice free throws as a big part of your practice every day. We're back underway. Chiefs moving into the offensive zone. That's Ben Roden with the ball. He surrenders it. That's Ben Faraci, and he gets the runner. And it's five to two. Jarena, they kick it out to Cruz. They're trying to get him going. He misses this one, they find it to him again. Makes a move, gets the baseline, kicks it back out, and it's knocked out of bounds by Ben Roden. Cruz going to inbound, gets it to Jarena. Jarena steps up, moving it from side to side, looking to create some space. Cruz now sends it into the corner. 
Elijah Stewart. Now it's with Cruz. Pick, Jarena wide open for three. That's no good. And Riddenbach with another rebound. Quick move to the hoop. And the layup is missed. The putback is no good. And the roll doesn't go either. Stewart throws it away. And it will stay with the Chiefs. Aiden Colby was the one, number 15. He's the one with the ball who missed those layups. Got to be making the easy ones. Riddenbach on the give and go, and they're going to call steps. 5-12 left in the first. We play four eight-minute quarters in Connecticut High School. Basketball, that is. Nice pass inside. That goes off of... 15, that goes off of uh, Aiden Colby again. Sorry. On the inbound here from Aaron James, throws it back into the backcourt. Juni Jarena picks it up and brings it up. Kicks it out. And there's the runner, no good. Stewart goes hard to the net, and he gets one. Elijah Stewart with the basket. Seven to two. Good move to the hoop. It's short. And goes out of bounds. Dylan Chung with a good move to the basket. Can't finish. And will be inbounds. Aaron James. Ball moves up front. There's Cruz. He goes baseline for a runner. That's short for an air ball. And rebounded by the Chiefs, who come back the other way. Smart move. Pass down low. No good. Ben Faraci unable to finish. I don't know how there was no call on that, but Jarena gets it again. This time there'll be a foul called. I think they're getting Aiden Colby for that one. And Jarena goes to the line to shoot two. Makes the first. Look at, like we were talking about earlier, look at the smoothness in which he shoots it. Coleman goes and takes a seat. Stepping in is Tyler Padilla. Makes the second. And we're nine to two. Midway through the first. Here's a long three, no good. And nothing. Riddenbach getting all the rebounds. But you gotta make your shots, and so far the Chiefs unable to do so. It's not like they're not getting chances, they're missing easy ones. If they're gonna stay competitive in this game, they gotta start hitting those layups. And Riddenbach makes the first. Sets and shoots the second, and he gets a second as well. Cruz pulls, pulls it up. He was thinking about it. And a quick, good job with a rebound and roll. Elijah Stewart with his second bucket. And a rebound, Riddenbach. He's got four. 
Riddenbach is taller than virtually everybody on the court. Jarena goes to the middle. He pulls up for the jumper at the foul line and hits. He has four points. There's a three. That's no good. And it'll go back to Wilby. Into the game is Junis Bell Luna taking a seat as Stewart. He and his four points go and take a seat. Padilla takes a, takes a rest. And Lewis Howard into the game, number 23. All for Wilby. Jarena goes to the hoop. And no good. Ben Chung comes coast to coast. And that's going to be no basket. Oh, they're going to call a foul. Oh, they're going to, okay, that's that's what the right call is. It's going to go on Chung, offensive foul. It's 13 to 6. Coming into the game is number 13. That's Ben Stewart. Taking a seat is Dylan Chung at Fernanawag. Quick move, there's a three, no good. Luna with the rebound, and that's gonna be steps. Aaron James moving his feet before he dribbled. And coming back the other way now are the Nanawag Chiefs. Kick to the outside. And a nice pass down low, Riddenbach can't make it. Keeps fighting for the rebound. He's got three guys on him. And they're going to call traveling. It's a good effort under the, net, under the basket. But again, like I've spoken earlier, you got to make those shots. Those are high percentage shots, and they're not making them. And that one gets knocked out of bounds. Ben Faraci got his hand on it. Aaron James will inbound. Jarena now into the forecourt. Here comes a three. No good. Jarena gets a rebound. Passes down low. No good. Another rebound from Luna. No good. And away with it comes Colby. Turn back the other way. Gio Cruz goes coast to coast. Throws it up, and it's no good. And back comes the Chiefs. Oh, my goodness. Then Farachi missed a layup. As Gio Cruz, he misses. And that jumper wasn't even close. And a rebound. Now it's Lewis Howard with the rebound. Jarena pulls up for the jump shot. That's no good. And Riddenbach with the rebound. Colby gives it up to Faraci. It's Roden. Colby. Oof. Ridden by. And with that, the period comes to a close. The end of one period of play here on the campus of Wilby High School. Wilby leads 13-6. You're watching this DET Sports Media production of Naugatuck Valley League Varsity Boys Basketball as seen only on Waterbury Cable 16 and live tonight on YouTube. So if you're watching us live, 
Thank you for joining us on a Thursday rainy night here in Waterbury. Normally it's a half an hour ride for me to get here. It took me almost an hour tonight because of all the rain and the mess that's out there. There was a big, gigantic fire, two houses from my house. That created a bit of a mess for me even just getting out of my driveway. Fire trucks, literally every fire truck in, in the area was two doors down from my house. I told my wife to grab a bucket of water and go help put it out. <laughs> 20 years that woman has put up with me. I said to her if she really wanted to be a hero, she could go run into the house and see if she could save somebody. Just having some fun between a husband and a wife. <laughs> Second period underway. Chiefs looking to get something going. Drive to the hoop. And that not even close. Bodies fly all over the place. Into the game is yet Yem De Jesus. And there's a bucket. Luna gets a basket. 15 to 6. Kicked out wide. Good give and go. Ridden back from the free throw line. And he has six points. He has six of the eight points for the Chiefs. Gio Cruz with Ferracci all over him. And Gio Cruz gets the layup. He has five. Colby now. I don't want to be rude and disrespectful. These are just high school kids, but this is... Nanawag is having a tough time. I, I, I feel like I'm bashing the team by constantly citing all these missed shots. And that's never my intention. These are high school kids in there. Still playing with passion. And that's all you can ask for. They're trying. So Gio Cruz calling a play out. And that one's thrown out of bounds. And we'll go over to the Nanawag Chiefs. Checking into the game is Josef Nieves. He is number 31. Juni Jarina takes a seat. Nice move to the hoop. Can he finish? Yes. Aiden Colby with his first basket. 17 to 10. And there's a turnover. And it's, it's going to go out of bounds. Ball will go over to the Nanawag Chiefs. Ben Roden with the ball. He gives up the dribble. Colby with it now. Runs out of space. Gets it back. Spins and turns. And a good job there by Dylan Chung on the follow-up rebound. And it's 17 to 12. Gio Cruz. Kicks it to the outside, gets it back, turns and jumps. Just barely hits the rim. And we'll have a foul. Foul 
That will go on Elijah Stewart. That's his first. Five oh five left in the first half. Seventeen to twelve. Both teams have three fou uh, fouls. And the Chiefs try to do the give and go. Nice play by Colby to keep the ball in. Thinks about the three, gives it up in the middle. And Chung gets the rebound. Thrown across. And Colby gets it back. And there's a th basket for number 13, Ben Stewart. It's only a three-point game now. It was nine just a few moments ago. Down low to Stewart. Stewart goes glass. And Stewart gets the bucket. At six for Elijah Stewart. He leads the Wildcats in scoring right now. Long three. That's no good. Cruz has it. And his runner is no good. Colby was standing out of bounds when the ball came to him. Back into the game after getting a breather was Riddenbach. Ben Roden goes back and takes a seat. Will be inbounding. Cruz thinks about the three. Goes baseline up and in. He has seven now. Ben Stewart, and that's blocked, and it'll be a travel. And Farachi, 21 to 14. Cruz took steps. So the Chiefs will make a chance, try and get a chance, get, it, get back into this. They had fought their way back to down three, and they're down seven. Cruz knocked it out of bounds. Farachi. And that's going to go... That's going to go against Nieves. It's his first. Team's fourth. Farachi inbounds to Colby. Uh, got, got a lot of steps in there. I think that was Chung with that one. Nice steal, and a foul. Nieves will pick up his second. Going to the line to shoot two will be Ben Stewart. They've gotten within five again. Chance to get it to within three. Good on the first one. Three substitutions in for Wilby. Coming in is number 15, Jeremiah Coleman. Number 11 is Juni Jarina. And I'm trying to see who the third. Oh, and Gio Cruz had taken a quick breather. Jarina unable to handle it. And Chung gives it up. Kicked out wide to Ferrucci. Ferrucci goes, and his shot's no good. He gets his own rebound. And there's a shot no good. And Chung comes away with it. Gives it to Colby. Colby goes through the middle, gets the basket, and a foul. I 
think they gave that one to Coleman. And the three-point play is completed. And it's just one point separating these two teams, 21 to 20. And a good play on defense. And for the first time in the game, the Chiefs take the lead. Stewart comes in, he's got five points. And it's a 22-21 lead for the Nanawag Chiefs. They were down by as many as nine. And they now lead by one with 159 left here in the first half. In terms of scoring, Dylan Chung has four. Ben Stewart has five. Aiden Colby has five. Ben Faraci has two. And Charles Riddenbach has six. That's the 22 points for the Chiefs. For the Wildcats, Junie Jarina has four. Jeremiah Coleman has two. Junis Bell Luna has two. Gio Cruz has seven. And Elijah Stewart has six. That's the 21 for the home Wildcats. Only one who has multiple fouls, Nieves is the only one that's playing. He's number 31. He has two fouls. Nobody else has more than one. Will be looking to get their mojo back. They had built a nine-point lead. They now trail by one. I think they were kind of rushing things. But now they look to settle a bit and set up a play. Chiefs playing a the zone defense. And we've got steps again. Gio Cruz. Opportunity here for the Chiefs to take their biggest lead of the game. They lead by one after trailing by nine. Here in the first half, we're at a minute and a half and under. Nice move. And it goes. Aiden Colby catching fire. He has seven. Pass into the middle. And a bucket. Coming back the other way is Jeremiah Coleman. One minute left in the first half. And that ball gets deflected out of bounds. It will stay with the Chiefs. Roden to inbound. He gets it to Stewart. Stewart to Faraci. Faraci thought about a three. 50 seconds to go. They've got time. They don't need to rush this. Riddenbach gets the loose ball and then throws it out of bounds. So the Wildcats will get an opportunity here. They trail by one, 42 seconds left in the first half. No rush here to get a shot off. Gio Cruz, he misses. And they're going to keep the ball with Wilby. Coleman throws it off of uh, Stewart and allows them to keep the ball. 29.4 left in the first half. Glad to have you along with us. Cruz passes it out. And they're going to say it stays with the Wildcats. 22.8 to go. Inbounded. And that one goes off of Roden. 20.4 to go. Should be up top. It is. Ball went out of bounds up top. I don't know why they were going down low. Cruz is going to inbound. Gives it to Jarena. Back over to James. He goes up top to Jarena. 12 seconds. Cruz has time. And he's going to get caught traveling. 
7.9 seconds to go, and the Chiefs will get one last chance. Colby brings it up quickly. They need a shot. And it's going to be no good at the end of 16 minutes of play, first half. It is the Nanawag Chiefs leading the home Wildcats 24-23. You're watching this DET Sports Media production of Naugatuck Valley League Varsity Boys Basketball on YouTube and Channel 16. Stick around. We'll be back soon. Welcome back to Wilby High School. It is the Reggie O'Brien Gymnasium in the George Toronto Court. And we're going to give you the halftime statistics. Dylan Chung for the Nanawag Chiefs has four points and a foul. Ben Stewart has five points, no fouls. A a Aiden Colby has seven points and one foul. Ben Faraci has two points, no fouls. Charles Riddenbach has six points. Across the way for Wilby. Uh, Junie Jarina has four points. Jeremiah Coleman has four. Junis Belluna has two. Gio Cruz has seven. And Elijah Stewart has six. Coleman has a foul. Cruz has a foul. Stewart has a foul. And Nieves has two. That's where we stand as we head to the second half. And my pencil is missing. <laughs> oh, there it is. All righty. Oops. And we're underway here in the second. James with the ball, gives it to Cruz. Cruz gets a pick, sends it into the corner for Jarena. He shoots a three, that goes in and out. And rebounded by Nanawag. Stewart gives it up, gives it to Roden. Roden gives it to Riddenbach. Chung tries to work the baseline, kicks it back up top. They try to go to Riddenbach, but it goes straight through his hands and out of bounds. It's been that kind of game, folks. Jarena double teamed, and he throws it away. Chiefs will give it a try, see what they can do offensively. Ball given to Roden. Roden finds Farachi. And a move down low. Colby's shot goes in and out. And Chung's shot is missed. And goes out of bounds. Will be getting an offensive opportunity. Minute four into the third quarter. Score still remains 24-23. Jarena with it. Sent all the way across. That's intercepted. And it should go the other way, and it does. Nanawag with it. Jeremiah Coleman unable to keep it in play. There's a three, and that's missed. And Wilby comes away with it. Cruz has the ball knocked away. Benton Roden knocks it out of bounds. Quite spirited as I walked out and I heard we'll be going into the uh, cafeteria to have an in-between meeting. They were quite exuberant. Let's put it that way. And that goes up and in for Coleman. He has six. And Wilby regains the lead. Long three. That's short. Cruz unable to hold it. And that goes out of bounds. Aaron James unable to handle the pass. So Farachi brings it up. He gets greeted at the top of the key by Aaron James. Defense, 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 
And there's another turnover. Gio Cruz comes back the other way. Is Farachi with him? He throws up a shot. Doesn't go. And they come back the other way. Colby goes right to the basket. He gets it. He has nine. And Coleman goes baseline. He gets the basket and draws the foul. That's going to get called on 24. That's Riddenbach. That's his first. Coleman with a chance to make it a three-point play. Will be leading by one. And Cruz gets it. They get it down low. Stewart goes for the shot, and it's fouled. That's going to be on number 10. That's Dylan Chung. That's his second foul. Stewart will go to the line to shoot two. He has six points. Preps himself and shoots. Remember what we talked about, about legs. Watch the way he's shooting. Chung comes out of the game. Back in is Ben Stewart. And that one goes. Two-point game, 28-26 will be leads. Just over five minutes left in the third quarter. Riddenbach gives it up, sets a pick. Thought about the give and go. Nobody there to help. Farachi goes baseline, kicks it out. Put to the open man down low. Nice play. Ben Roden gets his first bucket. And we're tied at 28. Very nice look there on that one. Behind the back pass. That doesn't work. It'll stay with Wilby. Went off of Riddenbach. Jarena tried to go behind his back. And they couldn't handle it. Bounced around and went out of bounds. Gio Cruz down low. Puts a floater up. No good. And that one goes. Elijah Stewart. He has nine. Will be with a two-point lead. Colby, and he goes in for the layup. He has 11, leads all scorers. And Gio Cruz faked the three, kicked out wide. That's a three. Nothing but the bottom of the net for Aaron James. Three-point lead now for the Wildcats. Rochi sends it down low. There's a three, and it's no good. Riddenbach with the rebound, kicked out wide. There's a long three. Nothing but the bottom of the net. That's Ben Roden. He is five, and we're tied again. Riddenbach just stripped Stewart. Kicked out for another three, no good. Stewart with the rebound, they're gonna call a jump ball. Possession arrow is favoring the Chiefs. James takes a seat, as does Stewart. Coleman re-enters the game. As does Trenton Stevens, he gets some time. Riddenbach gives it up to Stewart. Colby gets caught. Is Farachi, and he gets one. He has four. And Nanawag inches towards another lead. They've got two. Baseline move, little floater. Up and in. Nicely done by Trenton Stevens. He gets his first bucket. 
We're tied again. Colby goes baseline, no good. Gets the rebound up and in. He has 13. And that's going to go off of Farachi's foot. 2.21 left in the third quarter. Inbounding is Jarena. Gets it back, makes a nice move, goes to the baseline, pulls up for a jumper, and hits it. Jarena has six, and there's a timeout called with 2.12 left. Here in the third quarter, we are deadlocked at 37. You're watching Naugatuck Valley League Varsity Boys Basketball, as seen only on Waterbury Cable 16 and on YouTube Live. Mitch Beck, Deb Thoreau, it's the A-team, bringing you all the action from the Reggie O'Brien Gymnasium on the George Toronto Court on the campus of Wilby High School. Thursday night basketball, as only we can bring it to you. Happy to have you along. It is rainy and cold outside, creating some hazardous traffic conditions. Took me forever to get here. Besides the fire that I mentioned to you earlier, there were a couple accidents in between here and uh, back where I live. People forget about black ice. And they have that, I'm driving four-wheel drive so I'm invincible kind of thing. And they don't realize that physics works, whether you have four-wheel drive or not. We're back to live action now. Chief slowing things down. Aiden Colby has Geo Cruz on him. Sent across to Roden. Roden surrenders it to Ben Stewart. He goes hard to the net, gives it up to Chung. Chung gets it up and in. Six points for Dylan Chung. And a two-point lead for the Chiefs. Gio Cruz pulls up for three. That's no good. Chung is there. And he turns it over to Colby. Colby goes with speed into the offensive zone for the Chiefs. Chung gives it up. There's a three, and that's short. Good rebound there. That was Roden with the rebound. Chung with the shot, and it falls. Eight points for Dylan Chung. Largest lead of the game right now for Nanawag. They are up by four. Putting pressure on the ball now. Jump shot. It falls. Lewis Howard picks up his first bucket. And it's a two-point game. Colby. He surrenders. They look for the open man. Find Colby. He works his way on Cruz. He pulls up for the jump shot. No good. And it's Howard with the rebound. Kicked out wide. And they find the open man down low. And it's Jeremiah Coleman. He has 10. And we are tied with 20 seconds left here in the third quarter. Aiden Colby. He has Geo Cruz on him. Pulls up, gives up the dribble. He's looking for some help. Finds it. Gets it back. And makes his way for a jump shot, and it's not going to count. Wouldn't have counted. And we go into the fourth quarter. Tied at 41. While it may not be the prettiest basketball, we still have a tie score going into the fourth quarter. Quick summary of the scoring for the home Wildcats. Aaron James has three. Judy Jarina has six. Jeremiah Coleman has 10. Junis Bell Luna has two. Gio Cruz has been very quiet in this one. He has seven. Lewis Howard has two. And Elijah Stewart, he has nine. And Trenton Stevens has two. Nieves has two fouls. Stewart has a foul. Cruz has a foul. 
and Jeremiah Coleman. So nobody really in foul trouble on the green and white bench for the Wilby Wildcats. Across the way on the blue and white bench, Nanawag Chiefs, Dylan Chung has two fouls and eight points. Ben Roden has five points. Ben Stewart has five points. Aiden Colby has 13 points and a foul. Charles Riddenback has six points and a foul. And Dylan Chung, as we said, has two. That's it for recapping all the scoring. We go into the fourth quarter, deadlocked at 41. As they used to like to say when I was younger, we're looking for one of those fantastic finishes. Will be with the ball. Put around to the outside. Sent to Cruz. Cruz looks to see what he has. Surrenders the ball back over. Stevens been playing well. Back in the game is number 55. That's Tyler Padilla. Everybody getting some playing time today. And we're going to have a timeout called. Smart play and move by their coach with Faraci on the ground with the ball. About the best thing you could have hoped for there was a jump ball, but you get the timeout called. So they'll maintain possession. Thirty seconds gone by here in the fourth quarter. We will have a game for you on Saturday. And then I'll be back with you again next week. I'm sure we have a lot more activity and a lot more action for you. Farachi and Jarina. And a turnover. Farachi lost the ball. Jarina with it. He inbounds to Cruz. Cruz been very quiet and he takes steps again. That's the third time he's done that. So two turnovers back to back. Like I said to you earlier, it's not been pretty, but it's close. Riddenbach finds some help down low. Chung for three, buries it. He has 11. And Nanawag takes the lead. And Farachi with a steal. Riddenbach with it now. He goes through traffic. Oh, that's not Riddenbach, excuse me. And we have a foul. I think they're calling. Who are they calling for that? I think they got Riddenbach for it. They said he reached over the top. Jarena kicks it out wide. There's a three. No. Riddenbach there. He's got two on him. And Farachi. With, is a foul. That's going to go on 23. That's Lewis Howard. Faraci goes and takes a seat. Back into the game is Ben Stewart and number 11, Ben Roden. Full court pressure coming here from Wilby. And they go up over the top. And move the ball in. Chung gets mugged on the way in. And I think they're going to call that again. Oh, they're going to call it offensive. Wow, that's the third on Dylan Chung. That was kind of surprising. But it is what it is. And Wilby is back in action. There's a three from Jarena, and he drains it. Judy Jarena gets the score tied again. 
And that's going to stay with Nanawag. Jarena has nine. Dylan Chung apparently went to the net to get a, a uh, mask off the bench. And that's going to be a backcourt violation. Ben Roden getting caught in the backcourt. 6.02 to go. We've got a tie score. And that's Jarena with the ball. They set up the offense. Good play reaching in. And they're going to say it went off of Geo Cruz. Good uh, defensive job by Aiden Colby on that. And Colby has the ball now as Nanawag will look to take the lead. They trailed by nine. Biggest lead they've had so far was four. Giving it back. They go down low to Riddenbach. He goes up and in. Timely basket for Charles Riddenbach. He has eight. Chiefs take the lead again. Gio Cruz finds the open man. Twice down low and a foul now. Good work down low by Lewis Howard battling to get position. And Riddenbach has three. So Howard will shoot two after working hard down low. He'll look to tie the game with five minutes and 20 seconds left. Misses the first. Checking into the game is yet Yem De Jesus. Checking out is Aaron James. Howard will shoot his second. And he gets it. One point lead right now for the visiting Chiefs. Pressure on the ball coming. Chung gets smothered a bit. And a layup for Ben Stewart, and it's a three-point lead, 48-45. Under five minutes to go now. That's going to go off of Colby, and the ball will remain with Wilby. Checking back into the game is Jeremiah Coleman going and taking a seat as Lewis Howard. Gio Cruz gives it back to Jarena. Jarena goes baseline, runs out of room. Coleman unable to hit the basket. And the Chiefs come back the other way with Stewart leading the way. Chung now gets the ball down low. Rittenbach is fouled. And that's going to go against 15. Jeremiah Coleman, that's his second. Rittenbach is going to shoot two. If he can hit both, he'll give them the biggest lead they've had in the game, which would be five. But that thunks off the back of the rim. Still shooting that thing with the stiff leg thing. Let's see if he loosens up his legs a little bit, gets a little more on it. And does, gets the bounce. Four-point lead, they've matched the largest of the game have the Chiefs, full court pressure coming in. That seemed like an awful long time to inbound. Cruz having trouble, De Jesus now. Cruz sends it into the corner. Jarena, Cruz gets it back. Cruz has been very quiet in this one. De Jesus, they're gonna give that as a three. And it's a one-point game. And a very good play by Colby. But they're unable to do anything with it. It goes off of Chung's hands and out of bounds. Opportunity here for Wilby. They can regain the lead. They can make something here with 401 up on the clock.
And that's knocked away. Riddenbach got a hand on it. Pass was intended for Yetyem De Jesus. And it goes out of bounds. Gio Cruz has been very quiet in this game. He's a 20 point plus scorer. He shoots a three and he misses. 3.35 to go. And Colby doesn't get it. Ball bouncing around. And will be white ball. Will be getting an opportunity again with 3.27 to go to regain the lead. They led by nine early in the first quarter. Chiefs fought their way back in. The largest lead they've had is four. He just stepped on the line, but they didn't call it. Doesn't matter in the long run because Chiefs end up with the ball anyway. Nice spin move by Colby. And they're going to call that one on 24, which is Elijah Stewart. That'll be his second. Neither team real in danger of being in the bonus. Fouls are five to three. There's a three-pointer, speaking of that. Chung makes a good play, keeps it in bounds. Three-pointer there, that's no good. Chung with a rebound. Nanawag should slow down. Good play by Chung. Goes to the hoop, and it's missed. They're gonna call the block. Elijah Stewart picks up his third foul. They're going to call a block on that one. They're going to say it's a two-shot two shoot, two foul. And Dylan Chung will go to the line. He has 11 points. Has the ability to give his team a little bit of a cushion. Makes the first. Junis Belluna back in the game. Stewart takes a seat. And Chung looking to complete it. It's 50 to 48. And he makes the second. He has 13, Chung does. And it's a three point lead once again for the visiting Chiefs. I don't know how he got that one. That one looked more like a walk than some of the ones they've called. But it's a one-point game again. Gio Cruz with the basket. Colby. They find the open man. Chung goes hard to the net. It's short. And yet Yem De Jesus comes out with it. And he misses the layup. Two minutes left. Colby finds the open man, gets it back, pulls up for the short jumper. It's short. Chung puts it back in. Fifteen points for Dylan Chung. Three-point lead now with a minute 40 to go. There's a three. No good. And they'll decide who that'll be. It'll stay with Wilby. Stewart checks back in. Luna takes a seat. Minute 33 on the clock. It's a three-point lead for the visiting Chiefs. Gio Cruz inbounding. Colby gets a hand on it, and it's a turnover. Nice give and go, and they're going to call a block. De Jesus called for the blocking foul. That's their fifth foul. Minute 25 to go. They still have two to go, but they're still going to call it a shooting foul. No, they're not calling it a shooting foul. Referee is signaling the inbound. Important possession here. Ben Roden inbounding. Finds Rittenbach. Rittenbach throws up an air ball. And De Jesus comes out with it. De Jesus pulls up. That's a three. And it's good. We are tied with a minute nine to go. 
Colby kicks it out to the open man. They get the give and go. Chung, it's blocked. Chung gets it back. Throws it in. And Stewart picks it up. And we've got a, got a whistle. Wildcats call a timeout with 54.8 to go. It hasn't been pretty, but it's very close. Two teams battling. Both teams have had possessions that where they could have put the game away and weren't able to do it. And now they come down to less than a minute to go. Wilby has the goal, golden opportunity right now. They have the ball, 54.8 to go. Smart play here is to take as much time off the clock as you can and work for a good shot. No long bombs, no running crazy shots. Just work the ball down low and get a good high-quality percentage shot. Then come back and play defense. Don't foul. That's if you're the Wildcats. If you're the Chiefs, you want to play some good defense and deny. And if you get an opportunity, slow it down. Take a good quality percentage shot as well. You don't want to put anybody on the free throw line in a tie game right now. So we'll, ball will be in, inbounded by DeJesus. And he hands it off to Judy Jarina. Yet in DeJesus back to Jarina. They're allowing time to come off the clock. Jarina. Finds the open man. They get it back to Jarena. Find the open man. Keep moving the ball. Less than 30 to go. Jesus kicks it out wide to their best player, Gio Cruz. He pulls up for a jump and hits it. Gio Cruz. 19 seconds left. You want the ball in the hands of your best shooter. They worked it for the good shot. Did exactly what we said they would do. And executed. Gio Cruz, their best shooter. He was quiet today and just hit the best, biggest shot of the game. He has 11 points. That might be turn out to be the game winner. We will see. Plenty of time for the Nanawag Chiefs. Now, while they don't have the 54 seconds that the Chiefs had, or that the uh, Wildcats had, they still have plenty of time. It's the same approach. If you're the Wildcats, don't foul. And if it's the if you're the Chiefs, working for a quality high percentage shot. No bombs, no special team kind of highlight reel things. Just work the ball down low. I would be looking for Riddenbach and take advantage of his height. Get it down low to him. And see if you can make something happen. Pressure coming from the Wildcats. Should, definitely shouldn't foul. Colby gave up the dribble. Chung. He travels. Said to stay calm. Colby shouldn't have given up the dribble. Now... The strategy, if you're Nanawag, is you foul immediately. You still have two fouls to give. So you want to foul immediately, even on the inbound, just foul immediately. Every second counts. If you're the Wildcats, you want to move the ball quickly, trying to avoid the, the foul, and just... It, Kill off this last 13 seconds. Wildcats led by as many as nine. And Gio Cruz has been quiet. He's, at, like we said a little earlier, he's a 20-point-plus-a-game scorer. And that last bucket just gave him 11. He's been very quiet. He's gotten called for traveling three times. He's got a couple of fouls. But when they needed him, Buried a huge jumper. 
So now the Chiefs come out. They should put Riddenbach on the inbounder. That looks like what they're going to do. Everybody should take a man. They're going to do a stack. Cruz is going to inbound. Now Riddenbach right in front. Foul immediately. There you go. There's the foul immediately. They'll inbound it again. They have one more to give before it's one and one. Give it to Cruz. And he gets fouled. And that's just his second of the game. Chung checks back in. Ferrucci goes and takes a seat with 11.6 to go. So Jarena's shooting one and one. He makes both, and he pretty much ices the game. Missed it. And he gets the rebound. Huge rebound, Judy Jarena. Now you want to get the foul right away. Gio Cruz with the ball. There you go. There's the foul. 9.1 left. Game is in the hands of the best shooter for Wilby. He makes both. The game's over. <laughs> Ferrucci back in. Stewart takes a seat. But none of this will be, it'll all be academic if Cruz hits both. Guaranteeing at least a tie. And a timeout here called by the Chiefs. Three-point lead. Game is really in the hands of Gio Cruz. He makes this, makes this shot here. Makes it a four-point lead, a two-possession game. All you do is you just run basic interference. You don't foul. You just let them burn out the clock. We'll see if that's exactly what the coaching staff for Wilby is telling them. Nanawag, same exact thing. If he misses the shot, you need the rebound, and you got to move quickly up the court. And you need a three. Looks to me, from the way the game has gone, that Ben Roden is actually the best three-point shooter they have. Dylan Chung has hit one. But Ben Roden looked to have the best form. But the last thing in planet Earth that you want to do if you're will be is foul. So here it is. Gio Cruz hits this. The game's more or less over. So it's on Gio Cruz's shoulders. He sets, throws it up. And in, and that'll do it. Gio Cruz hits two key free throws and the big shot at the end, and that'll do it. And in a tight game going from beginning to end, it is the Wilby Wildcats who come out on top, 57-53. For Dave Thoreau, this is Mitch Beck. You've been watching... DET Sports Media's production of Naugatuck Valley League Varsity Boys Basketball will be Wildcats and Nanawag Chiefs. We thank you for watching this evening. Once again, our final score, it is the Will Be Wildcats victorious 57-53 over the Nanawag Chiefs. We thank you for joining us. Have a very pleasant evening.